Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to transform something like this. This is the Hornby TTA tank wagon that's been in their range for over 30 years and is a bit bright into something that looks a little bit more realistic like that. This started life as a red Texaco tank wagon. It was entirely stripped down, repainted And in this video, I'm going to airbrush weather them to show the tanks what look like in service. And I hope you'll agree at the end that the finished product looks a lot better than this very bright 1970s product. Before we start painting, I just thought I'd show you the airbrush setup that I use. I've got this compressor here that I've had for a number of years now. And this is my airbrush. Nothing too fancy, but it does the job. I've painted and weathered a lot using this. The uh, paint on the side is very good for uh, the price I paid. I think back in about 2009, I paid about £70 for the compressor and two airbrush sets. And uh, it's lasted me a good while, and I've done a lot of work with this. It just goes to show you don't need to spend a huge amount to get good quality finishes if you take your time and are patient. I'm going to show you how I weather these tankers now. With TTA tankers, they weather from the top down because of the loading process. Uh, Paul Bartlett's wagon website is an excellent uh, source of prototype images. But I'm going to weather the top where the loading port is and lightly weather it going down with strokes. Um, this one won't be as heavily weathered as the other ones um, because not all of them weather the same way. And then I'll do a more uh, older Hornby one to show you how weathering that enhances the look of the older ones if you don't want to do a full repaint. Mix my paint in a plastic shot cup till it's the consistency of milk. That's acrylic paint and acrylic thinner. And uh, I'm going to hold this because I'm only doing it lightly. I've not got anything on the back because there's not going to be there's going to be very little overspray. So uh, here we go. And there we go. I don't think personally that looks too bad for a first go. May need a bit of powders adding afterwards, but yeah, that doesn't look too bad. So I'll crack on and do the rest. Not quite sure what's happened on the last one. There was a blockage in the airbrush which came out and did that. But not to worry, it's acrylic paint, so if you quit, you can wipe it off and redo it. So it's uh, it's going to happen to anyone. It'll always happen while I'm filming. But if you wipe it down in downward strokes, the damage can be removed. And as you can see, it's left down the streak so we can redo it and once you finish with the airbrush again you won't be able to see what we've just done that so let's try and repair that damage 
gently does it. And there we go. You'll never tell that there was a splatter on there. There we go. The difference is astounding. Weathering is very simple. It took less than 20 minutes to weather 17 tankers. I think you'll agree the overall improvements, they look very good. Some are more heavily weathered than others. For example, this one has only got a light weathering to show us tanker that's not long into service. That one and others like this one have a heavier weathering for tankers that have been in service a lot longer. The uh, transfers I used on these, I meant to tell earlier, these aren't actually transfers. To keep costs down for the uh, person who wanted these tankers done, they're actually vinyl stickers. Very cheap off eBay and they look the part if you want to do a budget um, change to a ready to run model. Well there are the finished wagons. The three Texaco ones I've done for my own rake are here. I have a rake of red Texaco ones. Uh, probably not prototypical, but I like it and they're all weathered. So I think I've got about 21 of them, which I'll show in a future video. And these ones have all been finished now. They need varnishing to finish them off. And there are one or two little bits that I'm unhappy with. But overall, I'm very pleased with the result. That there is one part I'm not happy with. The airbrush did a splutter there, so I'm going to have to remove that. But overall, some are more heavily weathered than others. I think they look quite good in a rake. And they certainly look better than the 1970 product that we started off with. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe for more content coming soon. And please share it. And any comments leave below and I'll uh, speak to you in the next video.